I'm just gonna serve y'all some shoulder, even though I've been eating a lot of rice. Eh? So you see my collarbones are not popping like usual. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are going to be reviewing the highly anticipated launch of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Extensions. Oh my God, Rihanna dropped some powders on us, dropped some concealers on us. She came for our edges, those tax refunds, the government shut down. She really did it. 50 shades, 50 shades of concealers were released. And these 50 shades are meant to correspond with the now 50 shades of foundations. You heard me right. Fenty Beauty extended their foundation shade range by 10 more shades to include olive undertones and some other hues that were left out in their first launch. And guess what, guys? I finally have a shade in the Fenty foundation line, which is shade 445. I did do a review on it, so I will leave the link right here so you can click that. We're going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealers in the shades 420 and the shade 445. So the shades of concealers do correspond as well to the shades of the foundations. And they aren't exactly the, the same shade, they're in the same range, but just slightly brighter to help conceal all your mistakes, all that drama, all that crying, or whatever mess you done got yourself in the night before. This, as they say, is hashtag the cure we're going to be taking a look at this today i'm going to be demoing it here for you guys i want you guys to tell me what you think of this final look okay i'm serving y'all some natural hair but before we jump right into this video why don't you go on ahead and subscribe to my channel this way you'll know every single time i upload a new video or whatever hot launch is coming onto the market you'll be the first to know when i drop my review on it without further ado Let's get into it. So the reason why I chose these two shades were because 445 is actually my perfect, perfect Fenty Beauty foundation shade. I finally have a shade in the Fenty Beauty um, foundation line. That is what I do have on right now. The shades are meant to match with corresponding numbers to the foundation shades. So shade 445 in foundation goes with shade 445 in the concealer. They are the same shade, just a lighter hue, if that makes sense. Um, so let me go ahead and try it. I'm super excited. Of course, this is the classic Fenty packaging with the, uh, whoops, the frosted glass and the white top. So the concealers do retail for $26 and you get 0.27 fluid ounces in here. I think that's pretty standard, 0 0.27, 0 0.3. That's usually the standard for concealers. This concealer claims to be an instant photo soft coverage for all. It's supposed to be long wearing, light as air, crease proof from looking at other people's reviews it seems like this concealer is almost waterproof and one thing i know about waterproof concealers you need to work hella fast with them so i'm going to go in with shade 445 first because it does go with my matching 445 foundation so this is the wand it's a nice like doe foot applicator i don't have a lot of creases or wrinkles underneath my eyes however what i am starting to develop and i think it's because of like longer days now longer days and shorter nights with school so this is what i'm going to be looking for to see if it does cover this divot right here as you can see there's like a little dip in my skin right here so hopefully it does cover it up let's see concealer in my hair Jesus okay so I'm gonna blend this out with the Fenty Beauty sponge Wow okay so this definitely sets fairly quickly 
I actually like this shade because it's just like an a touch of brightness because you can see I, on this eye you can still see the line of like demarcation here like the darkness so this does help to really balance that out um, and it adds a touch of brightness so I do see what they're saying I think the reason why they did this is because I think Fenty does a good job especially with the way the products are structured the tools that they do come out with it's meant to be almost for like the everyday girl even the pricing the pricing is like it's mid-range it's relatively affordable I think that's why they did this like not everybody's going to want their found their concealer shade to be five shades brighter so this is really nice for like a really natural everyday look let me go ahead and do the other side now I think I like this almost as like a corrector shade so let me even just like my discoloration in these areas of my face I'm just gonna use it just to correct because I do have a bit of darkness around my mouth as you can see it really looks like skin I do want to go in now with a lighter shade this is shade 420 shade 420 slightly neutral but definitely a lot I feel like it's a lot more golden I want to go in and now add this on top to brighten this area out and I'm just gonna apply it in the regular pattern that I do apply my concealer very very creamy very rich so a little will go a long way I was a little generous I think Fenty is doing a really good job at completing their line right now because we are like close this close to having a full face of Fenty this close you know what the last thing that's left for Fenty to do is bronzers now that if they can get that right I'm sold that's it like everybody else should retire it sets also soft matte kind of like the foundation and with everything blended in I like that even though this shade is 420 it is lighter than my skin everything still looks so like I haven't even put powder on like hello I'm sorry what unclockable you can't tell me that this is not my skin flawless so in the spirit of keeping everything in the Fenty family I'm gonna contour with the shade 490 this is 490 in their foundation however you know okay great so now it's time to test out this powder I really want to see what this powder looks like I know a lot of people are are um, okay with using powders that are their exact skin tone but I like my powders to actually brighten underneath my eyes to kind of get, to give me a bit of a lift so I was kind of stuck between the shades butter and, and banana banana is a little warmer so that's why I did end up going with this one and look at this like the packaging Rihanna put so much detail into these things where the powder retails for $32 you get 0.98 ounces in here which is really that that's a that's a good amount okay so this is what the shade does look like so I'm gonna take the flat side of the sponge and I'm gonna really dab it and I think this is what this this was really created for actually hmm so you guys were giving us clues this whole time that's why you made this weird shaped sponge because this will fit like flat onto the face huh they had given us clues this whole time look at this conspiracy and press okay I will try to remedy that because I think I did put on a little too much press this onto the skin you see that see how that look at that sharp line god damn I forgot how good this sponge was if I'm being honest with you I'm using at this point like I'm really realizing that this powder yes it's very beautiful but it's almost unnecessary because of how like the soft matte feeling of the concealer itself the concealer didn't even really need a powder 
but this powder does as you can see like my under eye is a lot brighter now I'm gonna warm up and bronze the outer perimeters of my face I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off any excess powder because this stuff sets in so now I'm going to quickly do my brows and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just do one eye off camera. So I'm going to now recreate this look over here. I am using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I'm going to be going in Ada, Fulani, and Zulu. They're like brownish reds. Just to warm up my crease area a little bit. So you can use whatever shades you want to use. This is These are just the shades I'm using. Just use like a brown and like a brick brick brown just to I'm going to be going in with Fenty Beauty's um, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule and the first one I'm going to be going in with is Ginger Binge so I'm going to use this as my main lid color and this is actually a very fast eye look next I'm going to be going in with Moscow Mule and to do so I'm just going to use my finger just get a bit of it on my finger go in with some fix plus spritz and just pat and you can see it's so pigmented so now I'm gonna go back in with those same shades I put in my crease I'm gonna put them on my lower lash line next I want to pop on a little bit of black eyeshadow into my waterline so i'll be going in with the nars climax mascara and for lashes today i'm going to be going in with the miss 3d volume lash these are silk lashes and this is in the style m358 For blush, I'm going to be going in with Max Raisin. Use that to hug my cheeks. This is the this is Milani's Luminoso. Adds a beautiful glow to my cheeks. First, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Fix Plus now. For highlighters, I'm going to be going in with the Artist Couture Le Bronze as well as the Posy by Shayla Times ColourPop graze the skin but this is the YSL Rouge Volupe Shine number 47 beige blouse this is like my favorite lip combination at the moment I'm going to top this off with the Pat McGrath Labs Lush uh, Lust Gloss this is in Flesh Fantasy oh my god Oh, okay guys, this is the finished look today. Can you guys see the glow on my skin? I went in with the Fenty Body Lava, but what I did was to make it not so um, thick and like to make it just like a really nice sheen, I added in some moisturizer. Um, this is my favorite moisturizer. You can get the value size at Target. Thank me later. I mix these two together. This is the ne this is the Nivea Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Nourishing Moisture. These two together. I am super excited that Brianna did launch these concealers. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And the reason why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 completely is because I haven't done a full wear test, but I really do like the consistency. I love the coverage, and I actually really do like the undertones as well. I like that it, since there are 50 shades, there are some shades that you can use more as like a corrector shade, like you saw with my 445. I actually use that around my mouth to cancel out darkness and, you know, things that were not covered up by the foundation alone and I went in with the shade 420 as my actual highlight shade and it really made sure that my skin looked really really um, brightened but also it did a very good job at concealing that trouble area right there because I don't have a lot of 
creasing or wrinkles underneath my eyes but I do have a little dip right there look my eye is slightly sunken in I guess I'm aging the concealer is definitely a yes two thumbs up from me the powder was also very very beautiful banana is absolutely stunning it brightens the skin but adds a bit of warmth as well so it does tie everything in nicely together what I will say though is this powder can be drying if you don't use it the right way I think for me next time I won't be going in with a sponge I will use a powder instead just to lightly set the areas because she's potent <laughs> She's very potent, like she will set you down, like put you in your place. That's how strong this powder is. But it's really stunning. I love, I really, really did love this launch. Okay, so it is now about 4 a.m. So I have been up <laughs> trying to edit these videos so I can get them out for you guys by tomorrow. It's 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 been about 12 hours now that I've had this um whole makeup look on as you can see I took my lashes off and my lip gloss has come off as well everything still looks really good you can see I have like I'm starting to produce oils and stuff just around my nose but I am so mad I actually really forgot how mad this foundation makes you everything looks really really flawless and of course with the powder setting right here like I'm still nice and matte this this these products definitely get two thumbs up from me and now I can definitely say a 10 out of 10. I really hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. For your convenience, I will leave a video right here. Another video for you to click and enjoy. Because, I mean, you've already stopped by and watched this. Actually, I'm going to suggest you actually check out the Extended Shade Range review. I am wearing the new Fenty shade, shade 445 in this video thank you so very much for watching this video i hope to see you in another one very very soon until then stay blessed and stay golden